Hey guys, what's going on? Steve Rao here with the Bass Hang, and I know what you're asking yourself. What is that thing in his hands? This is a wing bass. It is a very, very cool and very interesting instrument. Um, it is kind of a mini scale bass. Uh, picture an instrument that starts at the 12th fret and goes up. <laughs> so uh, basically from the 12th fret, it's cut off and it starts at the 12th fret. That's basically what this is. Um, meant for, actually I believe maybe it was started as a practice tool, but you can actually use these on gigs. It's a, it's a very interesting instrument. So first let me just kind of show you some of the construction. Uh, if this particular bass has a black limba body or a corina body, has a Bartolini pickup. It also sports hip shot hardware up here, hip shot bridge, and piezo pickups. Paizo pickups, piezo, however you want to say it, are installed in this bridge. So basically, you have some sonic choices. And um, it's actually very interesting. I will run through the sounds. Um, as far as uh, setup for um, volume and tone, it basically just has a master volume, that's that, and a master tone. And this little switch switches between the normal Bartolini pickup, normal, <laughs> however normal it is, but the Bartolini pickup and the piezo pickup or in the middle position both. So again, in the up position it is the Bartolini, in the middle it's both, down is the piezo pickup. So it's a very interesting little system. So now let's play, actually before I play it, check out the back. Kind of interesting, it has this cutaway here. It, uh, and it, it's almost like a, it's a single cut bass, which is actually really cool. So um, it's very different. I, I Aesthetically, I dig it. I really like the way it looks. Um, the other thing, it's a rose, this particular one has a rosewood fretboard with lines. Um, they do come in all configurations. They come in four string, five string, six string, all fretted and fretless, and all available with the piezo pickup. So now, um, the little bumper with the drums in the front, uh, basically that was the bass with the volume all the way up, tone backed off a little bit, and with both pickups, both the piezo and the regular Bartolini pickups. So, so anyway, so now let's go through some tones here. So I am going into my A Designs Ventura, using it as a direct box, as a DI. That's going into my Apogee. Uh, duet and then I'm recording right onto Logic. So all the playing examples that you're going to hear are basically going direct. So it is the bass, the cleanest signal I can get into my computer with no plugins, no nothing, just clean bounce. So let's go through a little bit of the sound. So as you'll hear, basically here are the open strings. Here's G, D, A, and E. So that gives you an idea, it is tuned up an octave. Again, it's as if we start at the 12th fret and build up and everything below the 12th fret is missing. Um, so here is the volume all the way up and the tone all the way up with the Bartolini pickup. So I'm just gonna play, I'll play a pretty famous little Jocko line here since we're playing a fretless. <laughs> So that was the tone all the way up. Now I'm going to back off the tone a little bit, and again with the Bartolini pickup. And I'm kind of finishing it off with a little A flat major type of thing, just to give it a little flavor. Um, all right, so now let's flip the piezo pickup. So this is all piezo pickup with the tone all the way up. All right, very, very different sound. You get a lot of finger, a lot of finger noise and sound, um, yeah, a lot of finger noise basically because it's picking up from the bridge saddles. So now let me back off the tone a little bit and it'll darken it up a little bit. So 
Sorry about my intonation. This is literally like playing up above the 12th fret, so my fingers still need to get used to it. Um, all right, so now here are both pickups, the Bartolini and the Piso pickup, with the tone all the way up. All right, so now I'm going to roll the tone off a little bit, darken it up a little bit. So it gives you an idea of the different sounds you can get. I personally prefer the Bartolini pickup by itself. The Piso pickup for me, it has a little finger noise. I'm sure it, you know, for some people they can work around it or that works to their, um, to their strength. But for me, I, I don't really like it. I like the Bartolini pickup by itself. Um, the other thing I will say is that I, I'm pretty sure they come with a little gig bag, which is pretty rad. So you put it in a little gig bag and you strap it on your shoulder and you walk onto, you walk wherever, onto a plane. Um, yeah, it's, it's nice and small, which is cool. So, all right, so let me just play, I'll just play a couple of grooves and some uh, chords and, uh, and I'll do my best to play in tune. So here's a little groove in G. Really takes some getting used to, especially on fretless. Since everything is so close together, um, again, that, uh, that was the Bartolini pickup, volume all the way up, tone all the way up. So very, very interesting. Um, let's do a little palm muting. So it is a very, very interesting little instrument, um, and I do like it with the Bartolini uh, pickup uh, and the tone all the way up. It's kind of interesting. So do I dare slap on it? Anyways, it is a very, very fun instrument. Um, I, I have shown it to a couple of people, uh, or a few people, and it's almost one of those things that with, either you really like it or you really don't like it. I kind of dig it, man. I, I think it's a very, very interesting and unique design, and definitely for sure, if you're traveling a lot, excuse me, if you're traveling a lot and you don't, you know, you can't take a bass with you all the time, I think this is actually pretty cool because it is scale perfect. I mean, it's it's basically you're playing above the 12th fret. So if you're practicing any scale, let's say modes, I 
mean, it, it's it, I, it's beneficial. You're practicing. You're playing. Um, even though it's up <laughs> above the twelfth fret, you are still practicing. So I, I really see this as a very practical instrument in terms of that. In terms of performance, I don't know. I'd have to try it. Maybe I'll hook it up to an octave pedal and do that. But I'm I'm not really sure. But um, the other thing, practicing octaves up above the twelfth fret, man, it's hard. So check it out. I think it'll, especially on the fretless, what you get used to playing when you're playing it, let's say live, you're always doing these little micro adjustments. So it definitely will <laughs> get you used to doing that. So um, the other thing, it's super, super lightweight. Um, yeah, it's just a very, very interesting little instrument. I, um, I like it. I dig it a lot. And um, I hope you like the demo. Again, I wanted to go into my rig so you actually hear the real, real sound of the instrument going direct. So, um, yeah, I hope you dig it. Wing bass, go check them out, try them out. And, um, you know, the other thing, it's built really well. It's built sturdy. <laughs> this thing is not going to break and uh, might be a cool weapon <laughs> if you get attacked. So, uh, anyways, all right, thanks again, guys. Really appreciate it. We'll see you next time. See ya.